Welcome to IBM Mainframe or Community. A complete reference for the mainframe programmer. In the previous lesson, we showed you a complete easy tree report generator program and explained the library section. This lesson explains the job activity, which defines and initiates all processing activities in our sample program to produce the report. Conditional statements and a calculation for salary deductions are included in the example. Let us see our sample easy tree program. The first line after the library section in our sample program is the job statement. A job statement indicates the beginning of processing. The job statement can also automatically provide input, if input is available, to the processing statements that follow it. In our sample statement, the parameters that follow the word job are optional. Typically, processing requires some kind of file input. Most programming languages require you to control the availability of input files. Usually, files are opened, and then an input statement is executed in a loop, with the end of file condition being checked, each time the loop is executed. Although, you can control input, EasyTrieve can also provide automatic input capability. The input parameter of the job statement indicates that the named file, PERSNL in our example, should be made automatically available to your program. It is like saying, I want to use this file and letting EasyTrieve do the necessary steps. Because, our sample program has only one input file, PERSNL, as we already mentioned, the input parameter on the job statement is optional. Without it, the program looks for input, and uses the only file in our library section, PERSNL. If you do not specify input, the program looks for input and uses the first file described in the library section. The next parameter after input in our sample program is name. This tells the program that a job name follows. A job activity is typically named for documentation purposes only. It helps to give job activities a descriptive name, especially when you have more than one activity in your program. In our example, we named the job activity first program. We did this by typing the parameter name, followed by a name, first program, of our choice. Next, we will see program logic. How do we add business logic in EasyTrieve program? Let's see our sample program to understand how to add program logic. So far, our sample program simply extracts data from a file and creates a report. A more complex program contains conditions. When a condition is encountered, a test is performed to determine the next processing step. Suppose, the report that you are working on, has to include net pay and deductions. This is the program that we have been working on so far. This program accesses the field named gross, which contains employee gross pay. I hope you know, that net pay is the gross pay minus any deductions, and, that employees, who earn $500, or more get a 28% deduction. The rest do not get any deduction. The condition we have just described can be stated with a simple conditional expression. In this expression, we say if the gross pay is greater than or equal to 500, deduct 28% to give the net pay. Otherwise, if the gross is less than 500, there are no deductions and net pay is the same as gross. EasyTrieve requires an end if to complete the expression. Now, we see how to add this logic to job activity in EasyTrieve program. This is very easy, we simply type it into our program, placing it in the job activity after the job statement like this. There are several details we still need to take care of. We need a place to store the results for our two new variables, that is, deductions and net pay. They can be stored in a place known as working storage. Unlike many other languages, EasyTrieve makes defining working storage fields easily. You can place them in the library section of your program, or in the activity section, before the logic that requires them. To define a working storage field, you use the same type of attributes used to describe other fields in library section. However, you use the letter W to replace the numeric value that normally describes the start location. Let's see our two working storage fields, deductions and net pay. 
W tells, this is a working storage field, and it is four characters long, in pack decimal format with two decimal places. We place these fields in the library section of our sample program. They are more easily seen in that section, than if they were placed in the activity section. So far, we have used some elementary logic, calculated some values, and created a place to store those values. In this chapter, you learn how to add, conditional logic and calculations to your program, to compute new information. You also learned, how to store the new information. Now, you understood. Job, initiates program processing activities, and can also provide automatic file input. If, is a conditional expression, that is used to make decisions, based on certain criteria. W, designates a working storage field on the defined statement. In the next video, you learn about the line statement, and the print statement, which initiates printing of your report. The mask, and heading parameters, that let you edit, and label your data, are also explained in next video. The next chapter is Lesson 3, Activity Section, Report Output with Print Statement. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel, to get mainframe related updates. For more details, please visit our website www.ibmmainframer.com. Happy learning!